Hi everyone, Kate from Krakablock is here and welcome to this new video dedicated to the Jet Menu 2.1 version. Today we're going to go over some major top-notch features of the plugin update. And if you like our videos, go ahead and hit that like button below, share your feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. First and foremost, I'd like to say that some serious changes have been done to the plugin code and they're not really visible to your eye, but this re-engineering was highly necessary and needed because right now it opened new opportunities for further development of this amazing plugin. So one of the first things that you will notice for sure is the changes in the Jet Menu Settings tab. As you can see, it has been rearranged and reorganized a bit to make it more user-friendly. So basically, some of the options were merged, for example, like the desktop menu item styles were moved under the desktop menu tab to keep all style settings in the same place. Also, we did implement a tiny little option that you guys have requested some time ago. Let's follow to appearance menus. So this is the place where you create your menu as well as the place where you can add some mega content to it. So as you can see, we did move the settings button outside the menu item frame, which should be more comfortable to use. And let's click on it. So once you toggle use mega content option on, save the changes and reload the page. Okay, so you will see this little notification MAGA activated right near the menu item. So basically, this way you will be 100% sure that this particular menu item has been modified with the MAGA content. Also, we did remove the vertical menu widget tab from this list of the settings as it was pretty much duplicating the settings from the mega content tab, such as mega content position and mega content width. So from now on, it will be just here. Okay, and as for some major changes, let's go back to the Jet Plugin Settings tab. As you can see right here, we have the Jet Menu Update Notification, which states that currently we are using a legacy mode and suggests us to switch to the revamp Jet Menu. Right here, guys, I ask you to be super attentive, okay? So the revamp menu is a new mode of the Jet Menu plugin, which kind of like creates this compatibility inside the plugin itself and also allows you to use the new functionality of the upgraded Mega Menu widget. It is turned off by default, especially for those of you who are already actively using the Jet Menu plugin, uh, you know, to not affect your active installs, not to break any websites. So basically it gives you the full control of the situation, whether to enable this option and explore its features, or if you're fine with what you've got at this stage, just keep it disabled. Um, just keep in mind that if you want to enable this option and if you will enable it, you will have to build the menu from scratch. This is a very important point. And especially for our new users, for the ones who have not been using the Jet Menu plugin previously, we highly recommend to use this option because, well, first of all, it will help you to, you know, uh, get along with the functionality and have more user-friendly experience. And plus, it will give you the opportunity to explore the new options of this upgraded widget, which is really cool. So once the revamp menu option is enabled, the menu style settings that are in the dashboard will be applied only to the WordPress theme menu the widget settings will not be affected. And by the way, as for the widget, 
Its name stays the same, Mega Menu Widget, but the functionality is completely different, with the revamp mode enabled. So let's proceed to the Elementor to check out its main options. Let's search for the Mega Menu widget and drop it onto the canvas. Let's change the positioning right away, right here. OK, and proceed to the content settings. So first thing, just as usual, we get to choose the menu we'd like to show. So I'll choose the main menu. And guys, right here I'd like to give you a little reminder. So we create the menu in the WordPress dashboard and then we use the Mega Menu widget to display it on the front end and of course style it along the way. And as for the style settings, let's quickly change the title color to white on normal and red on hover and active as well as adjust typography a little bit, so font family poppins, size 18 pixels, weight 400, and line height 27. And here in the advanced settings, I'll also adjust the padding a little bit, so I'll make it 8 pixels from top. Good. Okay, now we're ready. So going back to the content settings, the next option, layout, literally gives you the opportunity to select the layout of the menu that suits the design of your website the most. Horizontal, vertical, and drop-down. I'll stick with the horizontal. Drop-down layout allows you to decide whether you want to use the default overlapping effect, so this drop-down layout kind of like is on top of all of the content, or push effect, so it would literally push the content along its way, just like that. Drop-down position gives you the opportunity to place it either on the right, in the center, or on the left side. Animation is pretty comprehensive, right? You can set the fade animation on your submenu. Submenu position allows you to set the position of the submenu and mega menu containers. Submenu trigger allows you to select on which trigger, either on click or on hover, the submenu and mega menu containers will be displayed. Submenu target gives you the opportunity to choose the object that will trigger the submenu display. So it can be either the click on the menu item or the click on the drop-down marker. Right here, you can set the mega container width type if needed. And now we've come to the point of a really cool and highly requested feature, breakpoint. Here's the place where you can select a breakpoint for the horizontal and vertical menus. And once done, it will automatically transform your menu into the drop-down layout. Super easy and extremely useful. Roll-up option has been created for the horizontal menu specifically, and I'm pretty sure you understand what it does. So if you have multiple menu items, you can roll them up to free some space. And to those of you who really liked a separate mobile render option, we decided to keep it in this widget too, but it is now turned off by default, so it is totally up to you to decide whether to use it or not. If enabled, it opens a new tab with the mobile menu options that you can customize to your convenience. One of the main updates here is the possibility to choose the device for render, either mobile or tablet and mobile. So guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was useful and informative for you and your projects. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this update and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support team so they could assist you.
join our friendly Facebook community and leave your ideas on our GitHub page. Cheers, guys!